So yeah, Bob Vape's back, uh, doing another little interview. I uh, got uh, Shane here, so big boys coils. Hello. Yeah, so um, basically, yeah, he popped into the shop one day and uh, showed me some awesome coils. Told me that he actually made them, stock them, and it's gone on from there. You got him hooked. Got got me hooked. <laughs> well, to be honest, these ones here are what th three months old. Yeah, oh, easy, easy. I'd say yeah. About three months old. Like, give them a give them a rinse down. Give them a. Scrape as good as new, still performing just like they did the day I bought them. So, and I'm a lazy vapor, like you know, I'm probably your worst nightmare, really. <laughs> like, I like you know, keeping coils like three, four months or something, but you know, I just literally, you know, I build when I have to now. Yeah, some of my atomizers, though, even though I build coils every day, is some of my atomizers the builds will stay in for months on end, yeah, because I only use them every so often, yeah. So, it's just I do it all all the time for customers as well. Like I've got like so like I've got a few customers. You know who you are. <laughs> like they'll come in with their kylans like pretty much every other like day or week or something. Like oh can, can you just build that for me? Or, can you... mm. So I'm doing everyone else's and that. And then I will get to my own. And it's just like oh whatever. Yeah. Like stick a quick wick in there, clean it up, and it's done. It's even worse when you're walking around an expo or something. And someone's mm. like oh you're so and so from Big Boy Coils, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> You got your coils on you, yeah. Selling the <laughs> coils. Oh, do you mind installing them? Yeah. <laughs> you got to learn. You got to learn. I dread to think how many I did last October at Expo. It was ridiculous. <laughs> nah, it's all good, don't it? Yeah. Anyway, what are you vaping on? Anyway, that looks mental. Me, I'm on my Vape Siege Creator IM two fifty. I think this one is with a Mask RDA from Times Vape thirty mil with a set of 0.32 series aliens in it nice and nice and rowdy they look yeah that that dripper looks mental well i bought i bought this dripper just for me hammer of god what's the flavor like on it good yeah yeah it's surprising for a big dripper the flavor's really really good okay and apparently so is uh suicide bunny so mm. um, are you gonna let me have a yeah have a bus now. The fire button sometimes. Did you get that from bit. Jam, Suicide Bunny? Yeah. Uh, Psycho Bunny. Yeah, I got three of them. Because it's Suicide Bunny, is it? What is it with bunnies and, yeah. and vaping? I don't know. There's like Mad Rabbit, yeah. Suicide Bunny, Psycho Bunny. It's just like, I think I've seen a few more as well. You got Anger Rabbit, the dodgy cotton. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's all rabbits. What, what's, can someone tell me in the comments, like, what what's rabbits got to do with uh, vape or yeah. is there anything? That's actually that's actually really good. Yeah. That is really good. Oh yeah. my god, I love that flavour as well. It's wow. awesome, isn't it? It's not it's not your run of the mill cereal at all. If, to me it tastes like the um the cereal bars that you get topped with the milk. Yeah, bit. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I get from it. Oh Jake, you got a uh, <laughs> you got a runner up for your cereal killer there, mate. Yeah. That is banging. That is banging. So yeah, uh, as I was saying in that um, he does big boy coils. Um, I'll post a link in the description of where, where you can purchase them and everything. Um, anyway, going back to Jam and that. So you went to Jam, didn't you? What did you I think of did. it? I did. I went on the Saturday. Um, my second year going. Um, you like it? Enjoy it? Yeah, I, I don't mind it. I mean, I, I go for the social for the social side. You know, yeah. catch up with people and that that you don't see very often. Um, but they need to get more hardware there without a doubt yeah i mean um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you won't see this but if you if you are anything to do with uh, p vape or anything and that yeah more hardware yeah. please there's we all we all like hardware there's plenty of hardware vendors out there that i'm sure would still do it yeah definitely and you've got like the little mod makers and that as well because yeah. i mean well, i know there was a there was a, a mod, small, small part, modders gallery yeah, yeah. But you need a second mortgage in there. Yeah. If you want to buy out from that, you need a second mortgage. Yeah, think. yeah, about three, four, five hundred quid for a squonk box yeah, or something for like that. A squonker, yeah. Well, oh yeah, you got a squonk there. I right? have, yeah, cheapest chips, the good old Hugo squeezer. Mm. With a dead rabbit on it. These things perform, never miss a beat. How many how many um setups you got? What here or no, altogether? in total. Or 
Too many. <laughs> Far too many. I think I'm in probably in the 30 range-ish. If well, not more, that's just mods, let alone atomizers. Jesus. <laughs> I've got a... Probably as many as I've got in my shop. <laughs> I've got a picture of my um, my vape rack, if I can find it. I've got now on rotation, so I carry around this one mech that I bought when I first opened the shop. It's a uh, limited edition run, made by an Italian company. Um, oh my God, I can't even remember the name now. How bad's that? <laughs> Calibre, Calibre mods. But yeah, I mean, as you can tell, I'm getting lazy on the old polishing and everything as well. Yeah, I then do. this, um, if you follow me on Instagram and stuff like that, you'll probably see this in pretty much every single Instagram post at the moment. I mean, that's my every single day um, vape set up pretty much. It's easy, it's just easy to do and it's good flavour. And then I've got like some little mouth to lung ones when I'm driving. Yeah, And that's I'll it, I'm done. I've always got my mouth to lung of some description. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that's, that's my vape shelf. Jesus! That's Show the camera. Just, <laughs> yeah, that's my collection. Atomizers on the top, next shelf's all mods, and then the next two shelves are juices. That's a lot. <laughs> and I've got I've got about four. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, I've, wrote, I've got a few notes on here, um, like I had on the other one. Um, I've put on there Grim because yeah, when we first met each other, it was like he had a Grim, he had exactly oh, the same Grim Green hat on. on didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Um, did you meet him? I did. I've met him twice. I met him last year. Um, had a beer with him last year, and then this year, um, met him again. Spoke to him. He's a um, nice guy, isn't he? He went back. He's a nice guy. He went back over, back over to the states with some more big boy coils, and uh, I gave him a big boy coils vape rag because I know he collects and he's always got God knows how yeah, many yeah. in his belt and he so uh, yeah I had some I had some made last you're, year you're his, on his Patreon as well I am you? yeah yeah I'm on the Patreon so uh, I get to speak to him whenever really so, yeah. um, I mean I, I, I'm not yet I, I will be because I need to I'm a big fan of his yeah. I, I, I need to support him in that regard but you know so far I've supported him just in terms of merchandise now I've got his t-shirt got his hat yeah. um, got his recoil I could, uh, only, like I could only get the app because they don't do clothing big enough for me. <laughs> but no if you're com- watching, no it- company does. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, was, so yeah, I, I guess that, you know that, that's when we first met. Anyway, mm. um, so uh, how did you get into vaping? Um, on the off chance, really, um, a mate of mine had started vaping, and he'd got um, one of the little little eye sticks and uh, he, he decided to upgrade and um, he said here he said try this he said take it home have a bash with it see what you think so I did little little Nautilus Nautilus Mini exactly what and, I started um, on Nautilus Mini I thought yeah th- this is alright <coughs> the problem I was having was it was too harsh for me um, I didn't like the higher nicotine juices when I first started at all so um, I thought, yeah, I like this. I like the flavours. I wasn't craving a fag, so I thought it's obviously doing its job. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, but I thought it's too much for me throat. So um, I went out. I went all all out, and I bought an RX two hundred and a Atlantis. I think it was. It was either the Atlantis or the Triton Aspire tank. Triton was um, the, uh, another mouth to lunger. It'd be the Atlantis then. Yeah. The I Atlantis got. was their first go into yeah. the sub home and stuff It'd like that. It'd be the Atlantis that I got. And I, then I um, I, fit, I learned how to rebuild the stock coils Yeah. Um, by watching a, a Rip Trippers video, believe it or not. Um, RTA! Yeah. Shake it, tits! <laughs> started, started, uh, started rebuilding them. And um, I thought I quite liked the rebuilding side. And I was... I was rebuilding within a month or two of vaping. I just really enjoyed that side, the tinkering Hands about. Hands on, everything yeah. like that. Just enjoyed the tinkering about. and. Uh, Sorry, I'm just quitting my uh, WhatsApp so we don't hear that noise anymore. <laughs> and um, from then it just 
went to where it is now, pretty much. Cool. Just carried on and carried on. So, yeah, so I guess, you know, that led me into why did you start Big Boy Coils and that. So I guess an easy transition, really, then, from you tinkering and stuff. Yeah, um, it was sort of something to keep me occupied as well, you know. Um, get stuck with a lot of free time and it was getting a bit mind-numbing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I used to do a lot of fishing, but then my health deteriorated and I wasn't able to to do it yeah so um ended up building the coils instead cool man uh so yeah um you've seen one of the coils and that that he's got in um in these ones he's a, he's uh mech alien so yep. they're the ones you designed specifically the, like, for, well, for mechs and stuff they are they are designed for mechs they're basically the same specifications as the m turk aliens um, with oh, the, with talking the, of them, too, did you meet him? Yeah, yeah. He's a cool guy, isn't he? He is, yeah. He's a very, very bit different, isn't he? Yeah. A bit different, M Turk. He was an ex heroin addict, I think. Yeah, he was an ex, yeah. A very bad ex junkie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's had a lot of struggles in his life, and vaping sort of turned him round and turned him into to a business owner. Yeah. You know. yeah he's done, doing all right for himself. But, yeah, you know, so my, my mech aliens are the same spec. With the triple twenty seven nichrome, um, the only difference is I fuse mine with um, thirty six gauge three o four stainless, rather than nichrome. See, this means like nothing to me on the on the coil front. Yeah. It's just like I get someone to pass me a coil, and it like if it looks good and works well, then there you go. You're yeah, on to a does, winner. The and the anyone outer, it, you, you'll be talking to builders out there, basically. They'll yeah, be I mean the outer area. the outer wrap doesn't make any doesn't make really any difference to the resistance of the coil because it's that fine it's it's irrelevant it's the center three wires that are doing the heating part yeah um i just choose stainless steel because i find it easier to work with um and i i when i'm building my aliens i do the no stretch method um which i can't do as well with nichrome so it's just simple as that really yeah cool so what other ones you got in the range um, sort of around that resistance, I guess. First, if you start off like in the low, in low the end. lower ends, I, I do a, um, a competition fuse Clapton, which is like a point oh nine to a point one one. Okay. For your, you know, your serious cloud chucking mech heads. Um, There's plenty of them out there. Yep, yeah, I do. A, I've now started doing a mech frame staple, which is a point one one to a, a point one three. Yeah. Um, Can I have one of them next? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to make some, so I'll drop you one in when I've, when I've got them made. Um, and then from that sort of end, you then sort of go up to more your standard sort of point two range of coils um, with your Claptons, Fuse Claptons, Staggered Fuse Claptons, um, normal frame staples, staples, um, and then you go up into... I mean, I do I do another alien in that resistance at a point two, um, and then you've got your more exotic exotic ones like your Fralians, your staple staggered fused, um, staggertons. What I do is as well, I'll drop I'll be dropping some pictures in. Yeah. Like hopefully I'll either I'll do it while he was talking or. Probably it'll be after in, yeah like you know so you know, just to give you an idea of like what all these coils will look like on these little uh what is it macro lens yeah they're all macroed in yeah um, just done on my phone makes basically most of them ones yeah. but, and they um, are tidy they really are i can say that that's why i started stocking them and that you know it's just you know yeah. I, I want good quality stuff stocked in this store and that and i i see the coils and it was, it was a no-brainer straight away yeah and all my customers are always really happy with them as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I stocked a, a few other shops as well across the country, so I'm always getting repeat orders, so yeah. they can't be they can't be bad. You're sponsored by Empire Vape as well, aren't you? The well, I, YouTube I, channel. I, I, I sponsor Empire Vape. Yeah, yeah. Um, I supply all these <laughs> coils for the YouTube channel, um, and then I also supply his shop. Yeah. Um, if you haven't so. checked it out as well, check out Empire Vape. As I yeah. say, in that, like you know, he's. Uh, He's been going for he's been going for a while now and that he's got a lot of content out there and that as well. Good YouTuber says it as it is. 
he doesn't yeah. he doesn't hide his punches. If he's got something to say, yeah. he'll say it. I'll say I've I've only just recently sort of subscribed and started watching and that because I was explaining to Shane, you know, sort of before we did this and that, and I'd only ended up watching uh, Grimm in the end because I don't necessarily need to watch reviews anymore. So I was sort of, sort of like I I'd stuck with Grim Green. He does like a little vape show, and I liked that because it was more just like he was talking about advocacy and news, and yeah. you know he would talk about like a, the beer he'd been having and things like that. And that's like another reason why, and I've I've said this before, why I've sort of set up my little YouTube channel. You know, I'm just gonna try and make like interviews like with like the likes of Shane and things like that. Yeah. But yeah, obviously, um, just recently I did uh, uh, subscribe to Empire Vape and that. And yeah, uh, going back to your point, if you don't hold his punches, no, you don't. I get that instantly. Um, <laughs> yeah, he'll say if if anyone it would annoy him, I think he would tell you, wouldn't he? Yeah, and if you meet him in real life, he's just as crazy. He's as mad. <laughs> as, he's as mad as a box of frogs, literally. <laughs> That's Liverpool, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, you know, when he has vape meets and out there, I, I go up there and and spend the whole day there building for customers and stuff for him. Um, so yeah, you said you were going to Expo, didn't you? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going to, to be Expo. going to Expo. Um, all been well. I'll have a, a bag full of coils with me. If anyone sees me and wants them, just stop me. He's a nice guy as well. So yeah, um, just go along, have a chat. Yeah, I'll be easy to spot. I'll be I'll be cruising around on a mobility scooter. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get your ankles knocked, it'll probably be me. Yeah, and if you see me as well, come and say hello. That'd be really cool. I'll try and get you know we'll get some pictures together and that, and I'll obviously stick them in like content and that. I'm going to be there on the Friday and the Saturday. Yeah. I'm going to stay over on the Friday night. We're going to probably go out and have a couple of beers as well. Yeah, well I know all, all the reviewers are going to be in the, the hotel on the Friday at the premiere. Just great crash that. Yeah. It's going to be full of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm arming everyone. Yeah, I'll say, because um, the reason why I'm doing like the, the overnight this time is like, because when I went to uh, Vape Jam, you know, it was just like, even though it was a much smaller event, I didn't see half of what I wanted to see no. because I travelled there in the morning and then you like when you first get there, you're thirsty. You need a toilet and everything like that. So you sort all that out. Yeah. Then you go and see a couple of vendors. Then you want to go and get something to eat, you know, and everything like that. And then all of a sudden, you're sort of looking at it. It's like, oh, it's three, four o'clock, and you're like, well, I've got to drive back home yet as mm. well. I've got to get the, get to the car. So well, I didn't. I didn't get back. <clears throat> I didn't get back into Louth until nearly midnight. Yeah, it's a long old day left, if you do I the left, one day. Yeah, I left the house at <clears throat> about half eight in the morning are you staying over for expo one i'm staying over for expo yeah, yeah i'm staying on the saturday night i'd recommend anyone night. watching this as well if you do watch this beforehand or anything like that like definitely recommend staying over try and get a hotel yeah or something like that because you can just enjoy it a little bit more you haven't got to think about oh i've got to drive home unless obviously you live in birmingham or something yeah. and you know you're around the corner so it's not, not expo an is such a bigger event yeah it's like it's, du it's, at least double isn't it oh, at least I, yeah easy i mean I mean, I went to Vape Jam last year, and then I did. I didn't do the expo in May. I did the expo in October, um, and it was well over twice the size of Jam. I think yeah. it's something like three and a half of the the NEC halls. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Massive. I went. I think no, it wasn't last year. It was the year before I went, and even then, it was mental. Mm. I mean, I, I I was trying to find one certain vendor. I think it was the no backiness at the time because I think they were the only ones stuck in um, the aromamizer mm. at the time and I really wanted it and I couldn't find it until like right near the very end until mm. like you know someone had like had a bag or something like that and I'm like where was it and they yeah. like literally like took me to the place because you just get lost in there yeah, I mean in October I, I, <clears throat> I missed the geek vape stand and everything yeah. I didn't even find that part yeah exactly um, you go into but, different rooms and you know all that sort of stuff but I mean I was relying on someone pushing me around so it was a lot harder yeah but I was this time because I'm staying over I'm going to book you can book the mobility scooters at the NEC as long as you pre-book them so uh, I'll be booking one of them for both oh, I didn't know that yeah because yeah, my mate Terry he you know, he uh, would need one. Mm, yeah, and the, that, and the jam and that, we didn't see any no, option for that. You can rent wheelchairs at, at, yeah, at, yeah. at the XL, yeah. but they don't have mobility scooters. But the X, um, 
the NEC does with it being so big. Yeah, yeah. It's got you um, have to, don't you? Yeah, it's got mobility scooters. Um, and I think they're only fifteen pound for the day to hire. Um, and if your battery runs low, go back and they put another battery. Yeah. Well. Um. So yeah, it's, it's a, a much uh, more sensible option, let's say. Yeah, definitely. So, um, do you have a website or anything? Like, how do people a, contact you? I haven't got a website. All my trading's done through Facebook. Um, um, was it at Big Boy Coils? Yeah. If if yeah, in the search, if just search Big Boy Coils, um, there's a Facebook page, which is if you want a message about anything, there's a message option on there. Um, there's also a Big Boy Coils Facebook group, um, which I release any information or new products into. Um, which there will be some coming very soon because I'm on the verge of releasing my uh, mouth to lung range of custom coils. Ah, okay, cool. I've been working on. Um, I'm mouth to lung a lot, so I'm, yeah, I'm, set, I'm definitely interested. That's it. I mean, mouth to lungs come back in a big way. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of very good mouth to lung rebuildable atomizers out there. Berserker, I've got the Berserker. Yeah. That's an awesome little tank. I've got the I've got the Siren V2, um, and I've got a K Fun Prime clone. Yeah. I won't I won't pay any authentic price for one of them. Is it ninety quid? Isn't it? I think. I think yeah, nearly hundred. Yeah. Like that. Hundred and twenty. It's the, and that's their cheapest. That yeah. They've done. Yeah. The Prime is their it's... cheapest because the K Fun Four when it first came out, I think it was retail at like one hundred and forty nine. Yeah. I think it was it's like it's daft. It really is. Um, <clears throat> But you've got atomizers out there like the Siren V2. Yeah, that's on yeah. par. The Berserker, which is well on par with the K Fun. Yeah, um, and that's thirty quid. <laughs> and the Berserker RDA is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, absolutely fantastic. Oh, the the mouth to lung RDA. I've tried that. Yeah, it is it is brilliant. Oh, okay, hands down, it is a true mouth to lung dripper. It's uh, I've heard it's quite ideal for like swanking and stuff like that. Brilliant cause apparently, for yeah, because. If you like with deep. the single eighteen six fifty megs, like my issue always was obviously in that I quite like quite a warm, yeah, dense vape and stuff like that. And when you're doing it on like a, a squonk, you know, obviously that battery life, you you know, you need like a backpack full of batteries to keep yeah. you going all day. Yeah, but yeah, if you yeah, have yeah. like a mouth to lung, mm -hmm. you're gonna get a lot more, yeah. a lot more out of it. They're they're fantastic. The the airflow is so varied, but you also get. Which I didn't realise until I actually I bought one um, for for another reviewer. I sent them it as a gift so they could review it. Um, and underneath the atomizer, so like, say on your deck, yeah. you, you've got the airflow here. Yeah. You actually have these little adapters that slot in. All right. And they alter the airflow. So you've got one that's got three holes, one that's got just a slit, one with a smaller hole, one with a bigger hole. So much so more, you can customise it exactly how you want it. You've got all the options there, and then you've also got, obviously, the different size hole on the side. Yeah, yeah. So that 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 hole goes over the one air hole, and then the other side bit is blocked. Ah, okay. Um, really, really clever design, and for squonking, fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Really um, good flavour. <clears throat> Do you have any merch? Not as yet. yet, no, not Are as yet. Are you looking at doing something like that, do you reckon? I'd like to. Um, something like, like Big Boy to. Cool Mats and things like that, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, build mats would be good. Um, yeah. Vape rags. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've, I've had I've had a build mat made for myself, um, but I wouldn't want to make, have those ones to sell because they're not, they're not to the quality of like... Retail. Yeah. It's it's got like the outer rim on it, and it's not it's not fantastic to be fair. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's finding the right yeah the right maker basically. I mean, to... ideally, I'd love to have them made by vape mats over in the states, but it's been able to afford the shipping to get so many sent over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the, the money to obviously buy that many in the first place. Mm. Um, and if people wanted to buy direct from them, they've got to pay the shipping, which is expensive for one build mat. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, it could be an option for the future. It's definitely something I'm looking into. Yeah. Um, because oh, I like the new logo, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've um, just recently changed that, haven't you? I have, yeah, yeah. Um, I changed it about a month ago, I think. Yeah. Something like that. No, it looks um, cool. It looks cool. I think that'll look quite cool on a 
on a mat or something like that. Mm. I think, yeah, because I, I want one. I want one from here. I want yeah, one I think for the shop because I mean the original one was was sort of grey and white and black on it, yeah. so very simple. Um, but when I changed the packaging, because um, I've changed from the little pots to the test tubes. Yeah. So you've got a test tube now with a cork, cork bung. Yeah, with yeah. With your yeah. cotton in, still the same. Um, and the old design just didn't really work as well for with that. that. Yeah. So um, I had some custom labels made up, and then he said, "Well, do you want to change your logo?" I said, "Well, yeah." I said, "I fancy someone with a bit of colour." So we said, we can do that. He said, I'll have a play with it and let you know. So we, he sent me this draft over and that was it. I was like, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, that's the, the one. one. Yeah. That's the one. Straight away. It just, it just <laughs> stood out. It popped. Yeah, yeah. That's um, good. That's good. And it's much clearer to see, even in a smaller size on the test tubes. Yeah, yeah. I like um, it. I think it looks cool. No, but yeah, anyway, so um, uh, as I said before, I'm going to have links to, you know, obviously his Facebook page and everything like that. So yeah, I mean... Just try them out. Just just try the one. If you watch this video and you're looking at getting a coil, uh, try one. I don't think you'll be disappointed. As I said in the, like at the start as well, these are three months old. Um, I'm still running them. They don't break the bank. They don't break the bank. Not no. when you can buy direct. Well, M Turk coils are like nine, ten quid, aren't they? Or oh, no, the twelve rest, quid. Fifteen, too. fifteen. They were at the show, and that was special price. Oh, they, well, there you go. There you um, go. I'm, I think I'm, I'm normally, go. I think normally M Turks aliens are about twenty dollars a set. Yeah. For two coils. And what are you doing? What are you retailing your mechs at? So I say mech aliens these ones. I, yeah, I sell one at six quid direct from me. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, six plus, quid, and you're getting, you're getting, so. you're getting how. M Turk makes his and M Turk sells his for fifteen quid. Yeah. So yeah, just just try it and that like um, you know go over there. I'm getting no commission from this. There's no you know you ain't got to put in a promotion code or anything no. like that. I'm just supporting Shane because he's a good lad. Local businesses, isn't it? Yeah, supporting each definitely. Other. So yeah, so thank you Shane for coming yeah, along no and that has uh, been a pleasure talking to yeah, you as always. Yeah, man. Always popping for a coffee when I can. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, until next time, people. Bye bye.